During times of uncertainty, it's comforting to know we have a healthcare system in our community that's been committed to supporting us for well over a century. In this current time, we are standing together and our bond is stronger than ever. KDMC, caring for our community like no one else can. What are you guys saying right there when you guys are down seven, nothing like that, only gotten on base twice? I mean, what was, was, was there anything even said in the dugout at that point? Oh uh, yeah. Everybody just said, keep swinging it. Uh, it's a great day to great day to hit. And we were just a bloop and a blast away of getting back in it and a few base runners here and there, and then a big, big hit. And we were, we were right back in it. What was coach's message to you guys after the game? Uh, Good thing we won the series. Uh, it's a good ball club. Uh, he knows we're upset we didn't get the sweep, but uh, proud of us for coming out Friday and Saturday and getting the win. Dustin, could you just describe uh, when you first hit that run and maybe the energy it gave the team? Uh, yeah, I, I put a good swing on it, and uh, I knew once it got in the wind that it was going to go. And then once I got back in the dugout, everybody was just just saying, we're, uh, we're not out of this. Uh, the wind's blowing out. Um, just like I said, a bloop and a blast, and we're right back in it. That's your first career home run here at Southern Miss. I mean, was it a special moment, or did the lead kind of take that away from you a little bit? Uh, yeah, the, the lead definitely took it away from me a little bit, but uh, it was definitely special, and I'll always remember it. Uh, but, yeah, I wish, wish there was a different outcome. Uh, Dustin, there in the – what was what was the feeling in? I guess it was probably the bottom top of the seventh. Maybe you guys got right back into the game, then they come out and laid those bunch down. Did it take wind out of your sails a little bit with the miscues on the field? Uh, yeah, uh, just a little bit. But uh, once it happened, we uh, we had to get our heads back up, and then Oc did a good job of getting us out of it with limiting damage, and we got back in there, and we were just gonna we were just gonna fight until the game was over. In that inning where they bunted twice, were you guys expecting those bunts? I mean, what kind of happened there? Was it just miscommunication? Uh, no, we, we, we had the good uh, bunt coverage on. They bunted right into it. Just just a bad throw. Just or Yeah, and then one was really good up the line, first baseline. But, uh, yeah, we, we were ready for him. Dustin, when you, when you look back at the game and, and of course, team – uh, committed errors, allowed runs. When you look back at this, do you feel like that you as a Southern Miss team lost the game or do you feel like that you were beaten? What comes to your mind right now? Uh, you know, I think we we could say that we lost we lost it. If we, uh, we make some plays, including myself, I know I had a big error that uh, led to a few runs. Uh, if I make that play, if we make a few more plays, I definitely – Walker was – throwing really good, I think the outcome's way different. I mean, on the flip side, to to battle back 7 nothing, knowing that you guys are kind of coming into this series with early on at least having problems in the lineup with hitting, I mean, is it kind of a catch-22 that it's, you know, that you guys made this a ball game in a sense? Uh, Yeah, no, we, we've been struggling a little bit, but uh, everybody kept their heads up and knew that eventually had come and just like last weekend we won on and just from pitching really we didn't really hit at all and uh, hopefully we can keep our bats going and stay hot uh game's over with but the next you're looking at mississippi state tuesday night um are you excited about that game i don't know if i got to play last year or not how are you feeling about that uh yeah super excited to play them uh they got a good team and uh, i think what they're top 10 in the nation so uh Got to play good, and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. I know last year it got rained out. I mean, I'd love to play, and uh, it would be a great atmosphere. Dustin, just how are you um, taking what the team saw here this weekend to Tuesday's matchup? Uh, just keep swinging it. Uh, keep swinging. Keep get better tomorrow. We got to take some ground balls, uh, limit the errors, I'd say. We'd swing it and pitch like we have been, limit the errors. It's going to be tough to beat us. You've had a lot of good luck in Jackson. 
you feel good playing at that place? I mean, uh, pitch well, hit well in state championships. Uh, yeah, I know the ball supposedly doesn't fly there, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, I feel good going there. I uh, had a lot of success there. So uh, hopefully I can have a few, uh, a little bit more. Are we unmuted? Yeah. Okay. Y'all hear me okay? All right. Questions for Coach? Coach, I mean, what was, uh, you know, what was your thoughts to the team? What would you tell the team after this? Well, you know, that I was disappointed, like I knew they were, that uh, we had an opportunity to, to beat a really, really sound club uh, three times. But, you know, I, it would, with coming up short today, I was still proud of them winning the series, uh, being a young club and, and really grinding out, especially Friday night, uh, coming from behind. And then, uh, you know, yesterday being able to uh, come from behind as well. Uh, but then hold hold off and, and win that thing. So today we just couldn't get off the blocks like we wanted to. I think a lot of that had to do with their guy, Peterson. Uh, you know, he had good stuff. He was mixing it in, really jamming our lefties in there pretty hard and had a good change up that made, made that fastball inside even a little bit better. So, you know, we, uh, we, we competed. I, I felt like pretty good all weekend. Today obviously was a very sloppy game. And the fact that um, three errors, which to me is uncharacteristic of us. And, uh, you know, that was all three were throwing errors. It wasn't anything to do with fielding. And because uh, uh, you're not going to see a lot of fielding errors, I wouldn't think, on, on synthetic grass. But we've got to do a better job of uh, not giving extra outs to the opposition. And, and, and they took care of, you know, they took advantage of that. Coach Berry. Uh talked about hitting yesterday you only got five hits today are you starting to go are you concerned about that yet uh although the walks you know are good but are you still concerned about the lack of hitting well yeah I mean obviously I wanted to I want to hit you know as bad as anybody uh, but right now it's just not coming and we've got to continue to develop that plan and trust our plan uh you know I think when you when you look at everything you're 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 playing Division One ball club or uh, and Division One baseball. You start in five sophomores, and three freshmen, and one junior. I mean, you're going to go through some growing pains. There, for a few years back, we've had older guys in there, you know, experienced guys, and right now we're we're on the other end of that of that uh, timetable. So we just got to continue to. Uh, emphasize competing you know they have to learn from each at bat from each game that we do and and hopefully that will what we will we'll develop and, and become good hitters and, and be more of a threat at the plate but right now you know we're just still kind of searching I feel like uh, you know we had some big hits today Charlie gave us a big home run uh, of course Ewing did as well and and uh, and Dickerson but you know, there were other opportunities there, a few that we uh, we missed on that, that on the weekend and that we've got to do a better job of of getting those runs in. Coach, talking about uh, hitting, going back to the seventh, y'all got three straight hits after just uh, two to start the game. How do you think the team was able just to make such a quick change? Well, I think it had to do with that bullpen. You know, they brought a guy in that gave us a different look. You know, a lot of times when somebody goes to pin, you know, as a coach, you're you're thankful. You know, obviously it's early in the year, and I think Peterson he was at 81 pitches, so you know that's his second time out, first time to start. So they're probably you know getting ready for next weekend, the future for him. So they got to the pen, and that gave you a little breath of fresh air, having uh, having a, a new arm in there that you, you know, getting rid of the old one that you hadn't done anything against. So I think certainly that had a lot to do with it. Coach, how would you critique your pitching staff today? I mean, there was a lot of errors and probably plays that, in your opinion, probably should have been made. Um, how do you think they pitched today? You know, although 12 hits, 10 runs, some of it, you know, probably – I don't know how to say it, but it probably was, it was added runs that plays could have been made, I guess. 
Oh yeah, I mean we didn't we didn't take care of the ball. Obviously, you know we had three fielding errors. We didn't handle the bunt well. You know, had two strike bunt down the line. It was a perfect bunt, you know, and it was a tough angle for Hall to make the throw. But uh, because of because of everything and right on that line. But you know those are plays that we've got to be able to make. They followed up that inning with another sacrifice bunt that we had to force at third and we don't make the throw. You know, and there's another error. So. You know, most of your run produced scoring innings are a result of either walks, which that wasn't the case today. I think we only gave up one walk, I had a walk. So you eliminate that one. Hit by pitch, we did start an inning. I think Carroll hit somebody that ended up scoring. And then, of course, errors, uh, you know, also lead to that. And then there was an inning there where uh, I think uh, Will had an error that they ended up hitting a two-run homer, you know, off from that. So. You know, we got to take care of the ball a lot better than what we did today. It was very sloppy. You know, they got sloppy on their end too, tried to give it back to us. But, you know, we talk a lot about momentum and, and keeping the momentum in our dugout. If you lose it, then you got to get it back. And, and we, we did get it back a couple of times, but, you know, we gave it right back to them. So, you know, we need to learn from it as we move forward and to, into the next game. And, and hopefully those things won't come back and visit us. Coach, what was your take on, you know, the, more so the pitching itself, Walker start and, and the uh, bullpen? You know, I think Walker had an average start for him, but that was his first start start out there. So, you know, overall, uh, you know, I think he, he left a couple of pitches up maybe that uh, on, on a backside home run there and, and then a guy hits a backside double. So, you know, other than that, I thought he was okay. You know, you got to give credit to, to UConn. They're a tough team. I mean, they're going to be a good club. Uh, they're projected to win the Big East, and I think they will. Uh, you know, of course, I hope they win every game from here on out from an, from an RPI standpoint. So, but they're a tough, tough bunch. They're, they're not easy outs at all, and they make you work. And, uh, you know, given all that, you know, I think, I think Walker – you know, he's, he's had better outings, and he'll be the first one to tell you that, and, and he will the next time out. But it was good to get him out there in this uh, young season for his first first start. Here we go. Coach, Coach uh, do you know your starter for Tuesday yet? Uh, not yet. We'll, uh, we'll announce that uh, in the morning. Is that it? Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Have a good Sunday Thanks. afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.